I'm a Roblox programmer and I have little experience in making 3D models and maps. But in today's video, I mean trying to use Blender. You may have heard of it. It is the most popular Roblox 3D modeling. Well, it's not just Roblox, but it's the most popular 3D modeling program for Roblox. You can make really cool things in Blender. Uh, really cool things. And Roblox devs use Blender to make stuff like UGC and uh, assets and for maps and stuff in games. So today I'll be trying to create low poly assets and maps in Blender because that is what I'm most familiar with uh, is I make simulators and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. So hopping into Blender, you just have this cube and we need to turn this into something great. All right, we need to turn this into a tree because trees are basically the base, you know, trees are very important to a nature low poly map. So first, I don't think we're going to be using a cube here, so we're going to delete the cube, and we are going to insert a cylinder, and this will be for the trunk of our tree. I do have a little bit of knowledge in Blender. Um, so going down to the add cylinder down here, and we can change the vertices. Since this is low poly, it's not going to be like that detailed, so we're going to turn that down to maybe about 13. Um, by the way, there's no tutorial, so we're just going to see how this turns out. I'm just going to be trying maybe a pine tree. We'll just have to see. Now, I'm pretty sure it's G to move it, so I'm just going to move it up a little bit. And we have a kind of a stump, so I'm going to go into edit mode by pressing tab. And up here, I'm going to go select this top face, and I'm going to move it up. I think maybe there's another way to do this, but I'm going to move it up and... Make it look like kind of a tree. I'm just going to scale it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But there's kind of like a trunk for our tree. Uh, uh, it's really basic, just adding a cylinder and moving it up. But that's pretty much all we need for low poly stuff. Um, doesn't make that much effort. Now we can get into what type of tree and leaves I want. And so after just looking around for some uh, low poly tree stuff, I think I'm going to try one of these trees here where it's like, uh, leaves that are kind of like balled up and it's a little bit of a, a different style but I'm going to try it out so I believe how we can do this is by inserting a UV sphere or maybe an icosphere uh, I think I'm gonna use an icosphere uh, I actually need to uh, let's, uh, put in another one so here's an icosphere we can turn up the subdivisions in it um, but to keep it more low poly, if I turn this to a shade smooth, that looks kind of decent because I kind of like low poly stuff, shade smooth. It's like a pet simulator type of style thing. So I'm going to try that. So I have a icosphere and I'm going to move it up just a bit. I'm also going to make our trunk. Actually, I'll do this at the end. Okay, I'm just going to make everything flat and I'll change it to uh, shade smooth at the end so it looks smooth and more low poly. So we, this is basically our leaf and I'm just going to move it up. And I'm just going to just like size it up and make it kind of look like a tree. So let me do that real quick. Uh, guys, so I actually like scrapped that whole tree because it was not looking good and I grinded off camera uh, Like the minecraft type thing, but I came out with this tree. It's a low poly. It's shade smooth. It actually looks good um, 
to different type of style. I actually like it. So I took quite a bit of time to actually make this. So, so I just didn't bore you guys with trying to figure out different styles. But I actually like this tree. It's a little bit big, maybe. I can maybe scale it down. But uh, we have a tree. It doesn't look too bad. That The lighting is, like, ruining it. So I actually need to make new lighting. And I actually have, like, a little lighting preset type thing that I already have made. So let me put that into the game. All right, so I basically just added some atmosphere, uh, whatever this is, I call it lighting, but it's atmosphere, sky, and color correction. Also messing around with some values in here, and it looks like a nice uh, low poly uh, sky. And now the tree looks like this, it looks uh, quite a bit better, and we can move on to other assets. So now I'm going to make a rock. Now I already kind of know how to do this, so I think we need to, whoa, I did not mean to do that, but we need to insert and icosphere i'm pretty sure and i'm gonna change the subdivisions down to one now there's this cool feature i believe that when you go into edit mode uh there's this thing smooth and then there's randomize and then it gives you this tool and if you just like mess around with this it gives you like a, a randomized shape kind of um that makes it gives you kind of like a rock type type thing it, it looks okay i mean it gets the job done i guess uh but can't really mess like move it around way too much um that kind of looks good if i change this to shade smooth we kind of have a rock it doesn't look terrible but again it doesn't look bad i'm just gonna mess around with this and see what we get i think this will just have to do so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select it and i'm gonna go up the file and then export and we can get it into roblox studio so let me do that real quick so now back in Roblox Studio, if we go to up to import 3D and choose our file, we can then insert it. So let me do that too. So now here's a little preview. Uh, it looks okay. And I'm just going to set it to anchored. And we can really just import it and then fix it from there. Now it's really big, so we're going to have to scale it down. But uh, here's our rock. doesn't look too bad. The color is actually not too bad already. And I'm just going to scale it down even more. And I'm just going to put this in here. And on our rock, I'm just going to call it a rock. And it doesn't look too bad. It, it looks okay. There's was probably some better methods of making it. Um, we can still, like, change it and, like, shape it kind of how we want in Roblox. But actually, this doesn't look too bad. Um, it looks all right. But we still have kind of a rock. Uh, so there, there's the rock. Okay, so now here's my rock. But now the next thing probably we should add is grass you know like little pieces of grass uh hopefully i don't think that's too hard to make but um i'll just think of some ideas on how to make it and if i'm being honest with you guys i'm just gonna go the easy way out and make some like triangle grass so i'm put in a cube and i need to scale it down so i think this is scale and i'm just gonna scale it down so it's like a thin piece of grass kind of uh like this maybe that ish um and oh, I'm still in this mode. I'm just going to, like, uh, move it down. Oh, that is not what I wanted, but... Oh, what am I... Okay, that's being weird. I'm just going to move it... Wait, what am I doing? I'm just going to move it down a little bit. And then I think I'm going to scale this out uh, somewhere around there. Maybe... Hold on, let me think about this. Okay, right, so I just need to do the opposite. I'm just going to scale it in, kind of. And so it's like triangle grass a little bit. So there's this. And now I just need to, like, maybe shape it and give it some more, you know, just make it look better. Okay, so I'm going to move it there. Maybe scale it up and move it around-ish. I'm not, I don't really know. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of messing around with, with this whole thing, this whole piece. Uh... So I'm not really sure what would look better, but I think before I even get there, I need to like scale it back to how it was. I'm just going to move this back. Okay, so I think how I'm going to do this is by moving it around a little bit and scaling it down a little bit until I get what I want, like make it look better. But stuff, maybe something like this. Oh. There's like a weird pointy piece of grass. Yo, yo, bro, this grass, that is not good. 
Uh, yo, that is not good. I gotta redo that. Alright guys, well it's been like a long time and I was almost about to start on the next model. I forgot to even record when I finished, but I ended up with this grass. I just messed around uh, with the flat like grass and made it uh, shade smooth. But now we have this and I think it looks good. We have grass and I was just about to make a mushroom. I don't really want to bore you guys with, you know, making every model and stuff. So I'm just going to make some stuff and we can put it together and make a map. Okay guys, so I have made a mushroom and then I have this border. Uh, I did have to watch a little bit of a tutorial on the mushroom and a little bit on the border. But they still look good. I still got them out. Again, I'm kind of new to Blender. But um, we now have all of our assets and I just need to put down a part and uh, copy this green color. And we can make it, uh, you know, actually putting together a map. I think I need a texture. Let me look for a texture real quick. I guess this one will just have to do. Let me copy. Oh, copy these. Okay. And then to save lag, I'm just going to get rid of every single texture that's uh, not the top one. Because you really won't be seeing it because it's the ground. If we move this around, we kind of have this uh, texture, but kind of need to change it. Um, because we can change the transparency to maybe like 0 0.98. Make it a little bit more faint. And that honestly kind of looks good. So. We can just anchor this too, uh, scale it out, and this is a decent size type thing. Uh, we can start placing borders. Oh, I should probably anchor everything here because I kind of forgot to. Uh, I don't really know how big these are compared to an average character. Uh, we'll just have to see. So let me place these borders, and I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. Okay, so here are the borders. They don't look too bad. I kind of made like a second row. There's a little bit of cracks in the bottom, but hey, it's all right. Uh, we just have to move them closer together. But actually, the borders don't look too bad around the map. And then we can like scale down some trees. Uh, and just have some trees around. Uh, there, we also need to get our grass uh, and everything else that we made in here too. And just start placing stuff so like random trees everywhere. Oh, I did, <laughs> did not mean to rotate it. Uh, but trees in different places make it seem randomized. I could use a plug-in, but, you know, we're going just all out. Play some mushrooms around. I'm not going to put paths. This is just like a forest type thing. Probably if it's a forest, add more trees. Uh, but let me get some more stuff uh, placed for you guys. Okay, so I placed some more stuff, and it actually doesn't look too bad. If I'm being honest with you, the rocks, like, the rocks are really bad. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you guys, uh, the rocks are really bad. Um, they kind of, like, they're just not really, they don't fit with everything else. But honestly, uh, everything else looks good together. I mean, I probably could have uh, made some more trees and had different stuff. But really, with the trees, you can just, like, copy this branch and, like, M rotate it oh I should probably fix this and then like just mo kind of move it on this side and whatnot but how do you make some different trees but that doesn't look too bad but honestly I did a pretty decent job with uh being a beginner in blender and yeah guys that was today's video if you guys did enjoy this video uh then please hit the like button and the subscribe button I'll see you guys in the next video peace